One of Google's latest projects, Google Glass, isn't even out yet, but it's already been preemptively banned by certain businesses and establishments ahead of its release date. Google Glass is a pair of internet-connected glasses that sit on your head that allow you to take pictures, record video, and access the internet hands-free right in front of your eyes. You can shop, check the weather, check your email, text message, and video chat pretty much anything you would do online. Sergey Brin, co-founder of Google, previewed Google Glass last year, and it's pretty clear he has high hopes for the augmented reality device. Now, I have to admit, it sounds pretty cool, but it looks a little silly, and it's already raised some pretty serious privacy concerns. So let's go over a short list of the places that have already banned Google Glass. It all started with a bar in Seattle called the Five Point Cafe that banned Google Glass ahead of its release date later this year, mainly as a publicity stunt or a social statement. They wrote on their Facebook page, For the record, the Five Point is the first Seattle business to ban in advance Google Glass and butt kickings will be encouraged for violators. Some casinos and strip clubs in places like Las Vegas and elsewhere have also banned Google Glass and any electronics patrons can use to film while inside. Major movie theaters, including Regal Entertainment Group, have also banned Google Glass, which makes perfect sense because you're never really allowed to bring in a recording device to a movie. Cars are also an issue. Legislators in West Virginia have proposed an amendment to ban Google Glass while driving or any other head-mounted display device. There's even an organization called Stop the Cyborgs, which was founded in response to the Google Glass project. Their aim is to stop a future in which they see privacy as essentially impossible. They are calling on Google to ban face recognition systems for the glasses, asking them to implement a do not track system, and promise that all information gathered by Glass will remain the property of the owner or subject. And that information will be encrypted so that it is impossible for it to be data mined. Many companies and businesses have yet to make official statements in regards to Google Glass, but as a general rule, if a place doesn't allow cameras, it's safe to say Google Glass is also not welcome. Google even made a statement in response to recent events about Google Glass to Forbes, saying, quote, It is still very early days for Glass, and we expect that, as with other new technologies, such as cell phones, behaviors and social norms will develop over time.